Switching to Mac from a PC, while not as painful as a kitten chewing your arm off in the middle of the night, it is painful still, and I'm just here to ease your transition. I switched over, and now I'm loving everything, but the default settings will F your life. So I'm gonna show you everything I changed. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I must say I am digging Mac life. I am fully into it now and I'm just embracing the Apple sheephood of my ancestors. So everything is just easy. There's a couple quirks sometimes. It's like, okay, can't delete a file with one button. I got to right click. So whatever we're getting used to, there's no deal breakers though. Everything just works. I haven't had one DaVinci crash. Mac life is easy. It's simple. And I'm going to show you how to make it easy. So first thing I highly suggest you do is get used to spaces because minimizing things, it's not like Windows. It's harder, it's annoying. Instead of minimizing anything, you have separate desktops to switch between. So like your first one, you got your kitten scaring dogs photos that you're looking for. So I always have my internet on the first desktop. And then the second one is DaVinci. And the third one is usually the files. If I'm editing a video like that wonderful Mac keyboard video, it's so easy to just grab a file, switch over to the desktop, put it in there. So to set that up, you go to your system settings, scroll down desktop and dock scroll all the way down to mission control make sure you have displays have separate spaces checked and the weirdest thing why do you do this mac this was checked automatically rearrange the spaces based on mode so you get used to a thing and then it automatically changes it for you so annoying i that almost that is why i sold the m4 mac studio because i was like i can't even get used to anything why are you doing this and then one of you jabrones told me uncheck this so uncheck it and you might live now i know windows has a similar feature but it's clunkier it's not the same don't quote me on this but i'm pretty sure you can't control what buttons switch the space don't quote me on that you probably can but it was some awkward thing like control windows side like two hands and a cat you need to press the space bar in between you guys so on mac in your settings go to keyboard keyboard shortcuts mission control and then you wouldn't see it you'd be like uh oh where is it you have to little arrow here and then the weirdest thing i used to just move left and right through a space and then those stopped working for no reason whatsoever so i was like Okay, so now I do just switch to, and this is actually the better one. You can add more, I think. Don't quote me on that because I don't see one extra. God, I needed that. I think if you just add another desktop, it will appear. Right? Right? I'm not currently seeing it, but I imagine there's a workaround, an easy workaround to get that fourth one in there. Five or six if you need it. Stop. These are in no particular order here, but say you want to organize your files notice how this is all in list view and then my pictures are in icon view you can set those as default a little command j in your life and then you just like always open in icon view and then you use as defaults and you'll be done the only annoying thing is you can't do that for like external drives i wish you could but most folders you just have everything the way you want and then boom, it always opens like that. Whereas Windows is so random. Sometimes it's list, sometimes it's icon. Sure, there's probably a fix, go fuck yourself. And if you ever want this to change from icon to list, it's command two is list, command one is icon. So it's pretty simple if you're just like, yeah, okay, want the, no, don't want the lists. Give me the icons, there's the thumbnails, cool. And if you notice, I have my own icons. Huh, you like that? You like that if you want to change one all you got to do little command j in your life that's not the right one command i sometimes why do you open so far away i'll never know but say you have your little oh i want this one that's way better there you go and then it doesn't change automatically until you open the folder then you got some stuff and now it's like oh there's the laugh file oh that's good times there's that clown wheel of hope i oh, love that so here's something that has no business being a default in anything. Say you're in your computer here and you're looking for a folder. 
Okay, I was in Thailand. Remember that video about the Canon R6? No, it wasn't invented yet. So Canon EOS R, your Mac will default to searching the entire universe instead of this folder. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. To fix that, if you're in Finder, just go up here to Finder, little settings. In the advanced tab, search the current folder when performing a search. Where did you think I wanted to look? Can you search my neighbor's computer first? I hate you so much, Mac. One thing I love is that you can tag certain folders to just have a cool color beside it. I don't even use it the way it's intended. Like I know you can search for only yellow tagged item. I don't care. I just like the colors and they're fun. So like, that's cool. And then you just take it off if you want. Here's one that may annoy you. Show scroll bars always. That's what I have on. That's what I prefer. Cause otherwise when you're looking for kittens, this bar disappears always. And you're like, where is it? And you got to hover and you can't find it. And they're too skinny. I hate you so much when you don't have a trackpad. So you, sometimes you got to touch that. And I do prefer touching down here goes to the end instead of like slowly coming. If you go to Apple intelligence and turn Siri off completely, she won't listen to your every thought and develop ways to kill you faster. So like, no thanks for spyware. Goodbye, Siri. Here's a cool one. Control center, go to your battery, show the percentage and then you know 80%. Oh, that is fun times. Here's one that was really annoying. Every time I clicked on the desktop, everything disappeared and it was just stupid. Sometimes you wanna click it, even for no reason, just like get back to your bases and it's annoying. So click this only in stage manager. Otherwise, if it's always, it's just like you click once and things jump out of the way and you're like, maybe you want that. Whatever, you're a freak. And in that same section, desktop and dock, scrolling down to windows, ask to keep changes when closing a document. Otherwise, if you close something, it's just gonna save it and close. Sometimes I make a little calculation. I'm like, I wanna see that. Okay, I effed up this very important document. Just back out, I'm closing this and it'll save unless you check that thing. So don't. One thing I highly suggest you turn on is displays, scroll down, night shift. You can get this by doing the spotlight NI and enter. It's faster, but it's still not perfect. I wish I could have this as a hot thing because sometimes I'm editing videos at night and I don't want this on, but this makes the blue light disappear and makes your computer screen look all like warm. It's easier on the eyes, but if you're color grading your video, uh, maybe don't turn this on because you'll look like this. And there's nothing wrong with looking like this. I look like your mom. One feature I use a lot is just the print screen button. I have it set up to where I just press print screen and I can capture an image and we're done. I used to download green shot for windows because it was so much better than the snipping tool. And now I don't need anything. That's just perfect. In order to set that up, go to keyboard, go to screenshots, and then you can do whatever you want. Some of these like will do video, others like capture the full screen. So set these up however you want. I don't, I prefer using OBS than this one. I've just had some issues that I didn't appreciate. So I pretty much only use that print screen button to select an area. One of the dumbest things Mac does for some reason is this natural scrolling. Just turn that off. Your mouse wheel goes in the opposite direction of every day of your life leading up to that moment. And then it's just the dumbest thing. And what's even more annoying is the trackpad. Once you turn this off for horizontal, it's still like you want it to be backwards and it, it's so awkward because you're swiping, you're used to swiping pages to see that one. And then now it's like you're swiping to get to the direction. It's not good, but whatever. Don't use the trackpad ever and you might live. But when it comes to scrolling speed, just forget any of these settings. Not one area of this whole bar will perfect you. You will be mad no matter what happens. It's it's got to be the dumbest thing. Let's just go to your comments here. We're about to watch the savage filmmaker with his Nikon ZR review. 
So I'm going to your comments. On Windows, when you scroll, it just goes normal. Watch how little it is. Look at this. What is this? This is one little dot at a time. And then when you go, it's just too much. And there's never the perfect speed. I've tried this over and over and I'm like, oh God, why? And yes, I downloaded some third party thing, Mac mouse fix. There was another one as well. And it worked much better. And I was like, oh, finally, cool. It mimicked the trackpad. I was like, yeah, there it is. And then I went to go edit in DaVinci and it was completely different. I was like, oh God, why scrolling is so bad now in the program, but God. So like you could turn it off for scrolling the internet and then, I mean on and then back off. I'll turn on your mom, but not with my face. Also secondary click, that's not on in default where you just right click something and get all that extra stuff. It's like, Click left side. I think you have to do that in the trackpad settings as well. Go down secondary click. It's like some random ass thing. Click with two fingers. Yeah. Who are you, Cyril Gone or something? Oh, here. Sorry about that. What do you even do? How would you scroll? You should be thrown in prison. And I must say, a lot of you say, turn this off, advanced. Pointer acceleration, you need this. You don't even think of not having that on. I don't know who lives without it, but when this is off, I don't, everything is just weird. Like it's floating around too much and it's not accurate at all. Like moving is okay, but then like you wanna slow down and get to something and it won't slow down at all. Whereas now it's like, okay, things like actually are easily guided. So like keep that on. And I don't even bother with third party apps that fix the mouse problems. It will never be fixed. You cannot fix anything. The only annoying thing I still have is when I'm trying to drag something in here, watch it skip. See how it like pauses every couple, like what is this? It should be one, no matter what I do, it just jumps like that. I don't get it and it's annoying as hell. So while there are some definite minor quirks with Mac OS that I don't love, for the most part, there's no deal breakers, just a couple little nitpicks and I'm actually preferring it. Everything seems so much simpler and I'm just loving it. The desktop switches, like I'm so used to everything now. It's There's certain things that I'm just like, could I go back to Windows? Like, come on, I'm not minimizing things again. Like this is just it's streamlined. Some things will annoy you, like apps never closing unless you control Q it. That kind of hurts. I'm actually really liking the this feature that you can move things so precisely. At first I was like, oh, they're so like awkward. And I just want them lined up, but I like it. You can put them wherever you want and you can minimize them as close as possible. It's like, oh, I'm saving so much space here. Oh, don't overwrite that word. So like I have them organized in ways that it's like Tetris and it's almost a game, a game you'll never win. There's no prize at the end, but you're having fun. It's annoying that I can't use my back mouse button that would have gone back in time. I always have to click this to go back in a folder. That's painful. I'm used to clicking the date and getting a bigger calendar, but you have to click it twice and that's stupid. I'm loving this timer app that just, I do rebounding in the morning, so I just start it. And then at first I wasn't sure if I liked this, but once it gets down to zero, it stops everything. Like if you were watching a video or listening to music, it stops it. For me, I was like, that sucks. But now it's like, cool, now it's time to do my push-ups, and I just go to it. It keeps me in check. So post any additional tips you found. I haven't even dove into the whole like looking for third party apps that fix a lot of this stuff. Sometimes Finder is annoying, but for the most part I work with it and everything saves fine. I can find things sometimes, but I swear sometimes I search in a folder and nothing comes up and I'm like, what do you mean? Why isn't it searching anything? God, it's annoying. There's no fix sometimes for these things. And sometimes my Wi-Fi doesn't work. Usually I'm in Ethernet, but on my Airbnbs, I'm like out there and it's like, I don't have internet. Do you have internet? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that's nice. And I restart and then it comes back on. It's like, mm, good times. And today I had no internet and I was like, why? Everything's plugged in. 
unplugged my ethernet dongle back in. Oh, now it's working, like why? So some things, my scanner didn't work. The printer works, why won't it scan? It's not scanning anything, it's just asking the computer. It never returns the call. So a couple of little minor ones, but like the speed alone, beautiful. Nothing struggles ever. The fans hardly ever turn on unless I'm rendering and everything's done fast, not one crash. I don't even look at that laptop. Be cool if there was a trackpad on the back of the closed laptop, huh? M6 Max, someone? So like, that'd be cool if I could swipe the top because right now I can't swipe anything. No, you Jabron, you should use the fingerprint thing. It's closed. So how could I ever get in there? Not loving that I always have to have it plugged in or my external monitor will turn off. That's kind of stupid. So I don't know if that's good for battery life to have it constantly ramping up. It seems to stay at 80% sometimes. It's doing some smart thing where Apple knows best for me and it will sometimes charge it up and sometimes not. And it's where it's living. It's a living being. So for the most part, we're good to go. So. Post your little Mac tips down below, anything I missed, but those are the things you change immediately and then you'll feel somewhat at home and I highly recommend you do not change the command and control. If you go to keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, modifier keys, and then these, for some reason, it seems like I changed it and whatever, command is your new control for Windows and it's closer and it's different. So I don't know if I changed anything, but I wanted it to operate like Mac should. And I'm still not used to these icons. And whenever I see an arrow, I'm like, what was that? So I don't know. You might want to copy this and you might not want to, but that's where it is if you ever need it. And the function keys right above it, if you want your F1 and F2 to work like Windows, I don't know. I just, I don't play with it right now. I'm good without it. So we're done. The Mac sheep of life is good. Grass is green over here. We get cold sometimes when the farmers shave our wool off, but we recover pretty quick. So thank you for the Bitcoin donations. And I will be leaving out. So